Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. In this video I'm going to show you how to use Python, Chroma, the vector database and Langchain to query your own PDF contents using JetGPT. So you can basically ask everything and you are not limited to a page, like a page count or something. You can use long and complex PDF files and GPT will answer you based on the content of the PDF files. In my last video I used Pinecone, but in this video I want to use, as I said, Chroma database because it's easier self-hosted and yeah. I'm also going to go a little bit more into detail for people who are not really familiar with Python and programming in general, um, as it was a wish of the community. Yeah, if you guys like uh, the channel and my videos, I would be happy if you subscribe and leave a like. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, I want to show you the PDF file I'm going to use. So yeah, this is basically my PDF file I'm going to query with the script. Um, it's, as I said, a terms of use plus policy of an app. And yeah, let's dive into the code. First of all, guys, you have to make sure that Python is installed. I'm not going to go into detail how that works. Uh, there are more tutorials on that in YouTube. Um, but you have to do a pip or pip tree install minus r requirements.txt. This will install all the modules you need for this project. You also need to make sure that you have the OpenAI API key in your environment variable. You can do that on Mac with the command export then OpenAI API key uh, and then your key. Please make sure that uh, the environment variable is named OpenAI key like I named it here. So um, the code is basically the same like in the last video. First of all, I'm going to um, have the PDF loader. It just uses the PyPDF module to load the PDF and um, transcribe everything into a text file. It also get rid, uh, gets rid of the new lines and then um, with the index file um, we, we initialize the retrieval question and answer of Langchain, also the vector database, uh, Chroma in this case. This method is used to chunk down our contents into 1000 characters um, which get then embedded into the vector database and the ask um, method is just yeah the run the run um, query of the lung chain so let's start um, this is basically just the the um, the condition to say okay if we start this file please do that um, yeah we're gonna load the, the file policy terms um, out of the MISC folder. Then in our PDF loader, uh, we define that the new text file is gonna be result.txt. So we are loading this one into the genie class. And then we print the return of the ask method. So I'm going to ask what data is sent to the company. Can I get my money back as I don't like the service? Let's see what it says. It will take some seconds, but it's pretty fast as the PDF document is also not so big. So the answer is basically we collect and use personal information. Um, of fulfilling the specified purposes, customers who are not completely satisfied with our service may request a full refund within the first 30 days. So yeah, 
we don't have to use our brain to read over 100 tech, uh, sites of PDF text. We can just use that little script and make our lives easier. Um, yeah, thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked it and you're gonna subscribe to the channel. See you next time.